My name is Kian Corlees and I am a swimsuit designer and photographer raised in Christian sets and Court. Kian, like many young people growing up in the territory, was in tune with its culture and history. In many ways, it helped shape her knack for design. The things that had that influence on me was definitely, you know, dancing, um, being in junior calypso competitions. I just knew that I would create, whether it be with my hands or with my body or with my voice. I just loved to stick my hand in anything that was creation. While she was involved in the arts, she did not pick up a sketchbook until she was in college. I knew how to visualize things and I knew how to make something old, new and I knew how to give character to certain things, but I didn't know how to sketch until I went to college. I really just wanted to learn every aspect of design. I knew that when I got to college that it wasn't as pretty as it looks, and there were some classes that I had to take over and over and over again. And being from St. Croix made it more difficult because I couldn't design fall or winter because we don't experience that. So, but that ended up being, you know, my strong point. My weakness turned into my strong point because when I expressed that, you know, this is a weakness for me, my teachers allowed me to design a whole portfolio. After graduating from the International Academy of Design and Tech with a degree in fashion design and marketing, Kian set her sights on the mecca of fashion, New York City. Feeling the mounting pressure to make something of herself and to utilize her degree, Kian created her first swimsuit collection, and that's when Cass Swimwear was born. Me coming to New York with my grandmother, you, ha you hear every day, you know, like, what are you doing? How are you using your diploma? I, d I don't see it. What's going on? You know? Like, I would spend hours on the computer designing or hours in my room designing, and she kind of didn't get it because I feel like that generation feels like you need to be doing manual labor as work, but I just wanted to master myself and just the art and everything about it. So I made some swimsuits as my first collection and then I went home and I always fly home to shoot. And then I was like, I knew, I was like, okay, this is real and I have a brand now. And now I'm gonna go back to the drawing board and rework the plan and see what my brand is gonna be about. After shooting her first release back at home on St. Croix, Kian returned to the city, and that's when she connected with a co-worker who was in college at the time. From there, from my pictures and just sharing it with pe the people I work with, um, I met a co-worker at my past retail job, and she's younger than me, so she was still in college here in New York. And she had a project Again, they're, they're lear learning new things about fashion and how to use social media to drive markets. So her project was to create a brand on social media and, you know, just spark everything. Make a Twitter, make an Instagram, you know, just see how you drive everything. And she was like, you know, I'm not going to make a brand. I'll just use your brand. And so I let her and we partnered at that moment. And we, we made the Instagram, we made the Twitter, we made it official, and then we just started gaining all these followers. And then we started doing things like, you know, little giveaways. We don't do that anymore, but that was part of the culture to get people to follow and to, to be invested. And from that moment on, I just wanted to just make it better. The campaign provided some buzz and consumers became interested in her unique bikinis. Feeling the vibe, Kian decided to go for her second release, following much of the same formula from the first, well-done designs, heavy social media, and great branding. 
social media would once again come into play in taking Cass Swim to the next level. I was at my retail job and I saw that Sports Illustrated, they were tweeting. It wasn't even supposed to be on my phone. They were tweeting saying that they needed up and coming swim, swimsuit brands. And I was like, what the hell, let me just email them. And I emailed the pictures that I took in, I don't know, maybe six months earlier in St. Croix. And they responded right back. They were like, we love your stuff. We, but do you have it in beige? We really need it in beige. And I was like, yeah, sure, I got it in beige. I didn't really have it in beige. I just went and bought the fabric really, really quick. And I stayed up for like three days while working. And I remade everything in beige and white. And then I resent it to them. Well, I sent it to them for the first time. And then maybe after that, that was a great indication. Nothing really much came from that, but they kept sending me mood boards. And it's like I would get relaxed for a bit and I would go back to, you know, like, okay, I'm a swimsuit designer, what's my brand? And then they would send me another mood board. I'd be like, damn, okay, they, they, they want me to push, they want to push me. They like what I'm doing. And even with all that work, there was no guarantee of Cass Swim making it into the magazine. Then, in 2016, the Swimsuit Edition is released, and there was Cass Swim making its SI debut. It was like, wow, this is real. This is real, and all these people are, you know, they know the name of my brand. It was just self-motivating because you struggle, I struggled a lot just trying to like master the skill. So it was rewarding more than anything. The following year, Cass returned to SI, and this time there was even more buzz. I worked that year a lot with knots, and both of my knotted pieces were featured in some sort. The, the red one, I only knew that the red one was major. It wasn't in the magazine, but I did a red piece with knots that made everything connect. It was two pieces, but it made actually one piece. And they sent me like a picture saying that it's rolling out today. And it was just in promo. It was months before the magazine came out. It was just this one picture rolling out over and over and over again. And then that was an indication like, okay, your work paid off. Even if you are in print this year or not, you did an amazing job. Her hope is to inspire other up and coming designers from the Virgin Islands. You know, some things are hard, but there's always a way to be successful. And success is, it's all in your own right. It's what you make it. So if someone's telling you you're bad, or you're not smart enough, or you're not strong enough, that's their own perception of you. And that's what I want to bring home because we're such a small place. And there's people who've never heard of us. And then there's people who never see the States. And I just want to share that with people because when you're there, it might seem like such a really, really, really big dream and something that you can't do or something that seems too hard. But there's always a way, all the time. Mm -hmm.